are going to read it. And it's Pop Pocket Fairy Tale Cinderella. And let's read it. Once upon a time, there was a young girl called Cinderella. She's beautiful but sad. Her mother had died, but her father had married again. His new wife and daughters were haughty and proud. They made Cinderella work from dawn till dusk. Do this, they cried. Do that at night. They slept on silken seats. Well, Cinder Cinderella made her bed by the by the fire among the ashes and cinders. Then one day an invitation arrived. Oh, gaps! Cinderella, you can't come. Tackle your stepmother. You're nothing but a servant. Once everyone left the ball, Cinderella sat down by the fire and wept. Why are you crying, my child? asked the boy. Cinderella looked up in wonder. I am your fairy godmother. Fairy godmother said the fairy. Now dry your eyes. You shall go to the ball. Go to the garden, said the fairy, and bring me the biggest pumpkin you can find. The fairy tapped with her wand three times to call six white mice. Ding! They turn into wait, where it says six green lizards ding transform into footmen and ting Cinderella's rags were magic into a beautiful gown. Last of all, Cinderella looked down to see a pair of glass slippers twinkling on her toes. Just remember, said the fairy godmother, my spell will only last till midnight. Cinderella climbed up into the clothes before just whisked her away to the palace. Who is that beautiful girl? asked the prince. As she glided into the ballroom, the prince took her hand and the band began to play. Cinderella and the prince danced that night too late. The clock struck midnight. She ran from the room and asked her gown. As her gown changed back to rags. The prince ran after her. Come back. I don't even know your name. But all that was left was a glass slipper lying on the palace steps. Months passed that one day there came a knock on at the door. Open up by the order of the prince. He will marry the girl who fits this shoe. The prince knelt down, Cinderella slipped her foot into the shoe. It was a perfect fit. At last, I found you, said the prince. The, they were married the next day and lived happily ever after. Okay.